First of all, East Buchanan, that is a heck of a team. They would yes. it's, it's almost like they're the perfect team to play right before you play a solid St. Pius yeah. team. <laughs> but uh, tonight, coming back down from fall, losing your first set, what happened there? Um, honestly, I think we got kind of wrapped up in the whole senior night. And we've also had a whole week off. We haven't played any games for a whole week, and that really does play with the girls. When you're not, you get in those momentums of playing games and everything, and we're just practicing. So I think that kind of played into the situation. And Micah and Liv, uh, you know, getting a win on senior night against a very tough East Buchanan team. Uh, what's that like? Of course, I think you guys are going to play at least one more game here. Uh, yep, Thursday. I was about to say, uh, yeah. but what's Thursday's that? our last game. And uh, and what's what's that like for you guys? Just uh, one more game, but getting a win on senior night. It's exciting. We didn't play the best, but it's it's exciting to win. And what do you think? Good way to go home. <laughs> it is. And uh, live one thing that was it was big and it was apparent, which was you and Claire just really clogging it up there in the middle. Whether it's on the attack, whether it's on defense, what was happening tonight? Gotta do what you gotta do. She's getting big on the blocks, and so I gotta stay big on the blocks. And I'm starting to hit more into tennis. But yeah, she's good at hitting. She really is. Coverage for me. And when you see two players like that, that are that stout at the middle, what kind of an advantage does this give you against other teams or just trying to get around them, you know? Uh, we're very lucky, actually. Um, this week we really worked on making sure that we're following the ball, not necessarily following the hitter, following that ball and watching that ball the whole time. And so we're able to get them in on the block and stuff. And so I feel like that did pay play off because we had a lot more touches and actual blocks. Now if we can just work on getting our hands down so the ball goes down and not out the court, we'll be good. Absolutely. And uh, Micah, that... East Buck, they could serve it. They could really kill it uh, when they wanted to. I mean, they had some pretty pinpoint. They were really hitting their shots, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And, uh, but you guys kind of hung in there. Uh, what were you doing on that back line to keep everything just um, up in the air? <laughs> I was definitely trying to watch number five because she's probably their best hitter. So me and Avery were kind of scooting the way she normally hits to make sure the ball doesn't floor. And, uh, you know, when you got a team that's – you know, usually a team this good, sometimes they get popped in the mouth, they don't get back up. This team did. Uh, what's that say about these girls and their resiliency for later on in the, for the rest of the season? I, and that's what I told them when I got the end of the huddle, and I said, you, you didn't give up. We were down a game, and you didn't give up. We were down points each set, and you never gave up. And so that's what we've really been working hard, because that's one of our downfalls. Once we get down, we get down on ourselves. And so they have been really working hard on making sure if they're down, they're fighting their way back. And we've been doing it in practice, and it, I mean, sometimes we win, sometimes we don't. And so they're learning to overcome those battles. And what do you think made the difference tonight? It just seemed like you guys got on a roll and just once you got the momentum, you kept it. What was going on there? What do you think separated you two tonight? Excitement. We had to get up because I feel like the first set was kind of just still warm ups. But once we got really excited, you can't stop us. What do you think? Well, the first set we were kind of down. We really wanted to get excited when we got a point. And then the second and the rest of the matches, we would get excited for every point. And the uh, final question is to all three of you guys, but. Ooh, the stakes are real high Thursday. You're facing St. Pius. I'm, I believe MEC is on the line. Final game. Uh, how do you feel heading into this big matchup? I'm pretty lucky that we're going to be home. I'm hoping that a large crowd will come out and get us cheering and get loud and show them that we're not going to go down without a fight. So I really hope the girls come with their heads on and ready to play because it's going to be a good one. What do you guys think? We definitely need to come ready to play because it'll be a really hard game. What do you think? She got it? Yeah, she got it. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, no, that's all I got. Hey, uh, congratulations on the win on Thank senior night.